So five months ago, I asked you guys to send me crochet flowers. I didn't realize how many of you would actually do that, so when I created my project with all the crochet flowers you guys sent me, I ended up having a few left over. Just a couple. And the couple of you who didn't get to see their flower on the dress, it's because they're right here still. And because you guys put so much effort into creating these flowers, I wanna make something else with them. So I wanna to try to recreate this $8,300 knitted flower sweater by Stella McCartney with your guys' flowers. First step, I just realized I never crocheted a flower for this project. I just assembled it. Which means first step then, I need to crochet a flower. Okay, I decided my colors. These ones. This sandwich I got from Safeway is probably my favorite sandwich so far from them. And I've had a lot from them. Well, my flower is done. Next step. So I have this sweater here. It does have stains on it. I'm in, I'm in the middle of trying to remove them, but this sweater specifically, this is the perfect reference sample for my sweater. This is just like OxyClean. It's not like it's oil stains. It's just, it's still soaking. So that's okay. I just need this to layer these on top of this. Because I made my flower, I'm gonna put this front and center. Sorry, I'm the one making this sweater so I can do what I want. And then I'm gonna just start putting these bad boys in places that I feel like look good and also connect well because I'm pretty much just connecting the tips to the tips. I mean, there's gonna be like lots of big holes in the sweater, kind of like the sample, like the Stella McCartney. I feel like that's enough to start with. Also, I didn't make a dent at all in my pile over here. So yeah, I definitely think there's gonna be another project in the making. To be honest, I don't really know how I wanna connect these. I want it to be fast, because last time I did this where I made a whole bunch of crochet flowers and then I sewed them together, it wasn't very efficient hand sewing them. So I'm wondering if I can crochet them somehow. Just crochet the tips, you know, with like a baby hook. So we don't see it that much. Let me just experiment. Let's see how this goes. But first, let's grab a crochet yarn. Just yarn. I'm gonna try these colors first. <sighs> let's start with this baby pink. It's almost like a white pink. It's a, it's a cool kids call it a baby pink. It's, I don't, I don't know. Like maybe it's okay. This is the back, so I don't know if you just want a little stitch together or we want actually the single crochet stitch. Let me try it in a different color. Maybe I want to do lots of multicolors. Try this yellow, this bad boy. Also, in the Stella McCartney version, they do have a lot of strands just dangling everywhere, so maybe if I do it in a lot of different colors, it will actually look good because there'll be lots of different yarns, you know, dangling and also I wouldn't actually have to weave them in. Looks good and saves me time. That's working smarter, not harder. Motto in life. Let me get it tattooed on my forehead. Smart, not harder. Not bad. I know some of you at home are like, but just stay with me, stay with me. Hold, hold those forts. This is why I carried around seven bags of yarn throughout Europe for this very moment. So I'd have lots of colors for our sweater. It looks pretty good, right? I don't really know what you guys see on the screen, but in person, this looks fire. I think we did it. I found what I'm gonna do. First try, which you guys never really see because a lot of footage I film gets cut out because I'm like, eh, no one really wants to see me fail this many times. But legit, I just did that one time and it worked, which 
never happens. It's the small wins in life. What are you doing, Jack? How'd you even get up there? I legit have a dog who thinks he's a cat. You can sit here if you don't lick. <laughs> You're very gassy today. You can sit here if you don't lick or eat the flowers, okay? Okay, I'm almost done half of the front, so what do we think? Does it look like spaghetti noodles? I get a little bit of a noodle vibe. Who says flowers and noodles don't go together? I like it. Now, I just need to keep going and include all of these flowers here. Honestly, I don't know how many are here. It didn't really count, but I want to say 200, which, yeah, I don't think I need 200 flowers for this project, especially when some of them are the size of my head. Yeah, this is really hard to tell if this is gonna look good or not. I'm gonna keep going and trust the process because I just have to believe that it's gonna look good, but right now, probably more excited for dinner than this. So do you guys remember when I asked you guys to send me these crochet flowers five months ago? No? Because you probably weren't following me on Instagram or you weren't watching my YouTube community page because those are the only two places I post about it. And some of you ended up finding it and you sent me some, which I'm so happy for, but if you do want to get involved in the next one because I've been having so much fun creating stuff with these flowers, I want to do more of them. If you want to get involved, I'm going to tell you how. I have a little announcement. So today, I officially have a Patreon page, a free Patreon page for you guys where I can share behind the scenes, I can do polls on for the next project, announcements where you guys need to send the flowers or whatever we're creating to so you can be involved. I also will have tons of patterns on this Patreon page. So you guys could actually go get them. Like remember that strawberry top I made that I didn't have a pattern for? The pattern's on Patreon. Remember that Raglan sweater I made? Pattern's on Patreon. And you remember the collar and the headband I made last week? It's on Patreon. A lot of new things will be announced on Patreon. So if you guys wanna see behind the scenes and other things like lives or whatever, it's on Patreon. It's free to join to see all the information, so click the link down below in the description and come join me. Jack says you should join, right? Okay, well, me and Jack are gonna get back to work and continue working on this. Hopefully not below average sweater I'm making with all your guys' hard work, money, supplies. It will be 10 out of 10, one way or the other. Even if it takes me seven years to finish the sweater and that's the only content that will be on my channel for the next seven years, it will happen. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> this is really ugly. <laughs> yeah, this is not very good. I think I'm gonna have to rethink the dangler issue. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so, my goal in life today, finish attaching the flowers together. All of them. Right now, I don't even have the front done, but I wanna get the front done and the back done like by the end of the day today. I want it to be one sweater. It doesn't need to be done. I'm not saying it has to be done. I'm just saying it needs to be attached. Strings can be flailing. They can look like spaghetti noodles. That is okay. We figure that out later. I'm like a quarter of the way there. So that means big day today. I think I can get it done. If I stay focused. I've really proved myself many times that if I just focus and don't get distracted by things in life, you'd be surprised how much you can actually get done in small time frames. A lot. Let's put the swabs in. I, I actually, I named my um, headphones Sally Swabs. You know what my iPad's name is? Patty's Pad. You know what my phone's called? Larry's Blackberry. You wanna know what my iPad pencil is? Tiff's tampon. I'm 
I'm done the front. So I'm gonna put it on my Manny, see how she looks. Looking at it now that it's more finished, it's halfway, I definitely think we need to get rid of the, the danglers. They're not really helping. They're kind of taken away from the design, so I think I'm gonna have to weave these all in. I don't know, I could do little bit by little bit and then see if I wanna leave some of them, but I think it's gotta be just on its own, the flowers. I really don't think these are gonna work out in the end. Right now it looks like I spilled spaghetti on it. No, thank you. Okay, we got rid of the sweater here. We don't need her anymore. Because now we have the shape of the front here. So I'm pretty much just gonna replicate this one more time to the back and then connect them. And we're done just that step. There's more steps after. So I did get distracted a few times, so I'm only on the arm. I think I'm gonna set a timer for myself. Sometimes that really keeps me accountable where I just don't do anything, but do this until the timer's up. So one hour. Let's see how much I can do. Halfway. <clears throat> I'm actually just gonna spend one more minute because I'm just finishing this flower. But after I'm done this flower, I'll show you the progress I made in that hour. Okay, let me show you what I have. I'm a little nervous, this is not gonna look good. This is the front. This is the sleeve. This is an actual circle sleeve. Like, look at that. Got the one sleeve done and I got like three quarters of the back. This is really hard to showcase. I got one half arm, body, one arm on this side. It's still unfinished, you can see. And then somewhat of a back here. I guess that doesn't really show what kind of progress I actually did in that hour. Um, I did this. Honestly, I thought I was gonna do more. Okay, well, I'm gonna go eat now. I'm hungry, it's dinner. See you tomorrow. Morning! I went for a nice walk today, and then I had a bath. Now I'm here, working on the sweater still. I actually layered down all these flowers, so it looks like I've done more work than I have. I pretty much just layered these all down, and now I'm just starting to crochet them. See how far I can get today. I'm so excited, I almost done. I just got this section of the arm, and then more work. This, this is done for this part. Just yesterday's goal. Oh, but we're getting there. There's so many flowers still. Oh my goodness. There's probably at least like two more projects to be honest. I did it. I got all the flowers together in the shape of a top. Do you guys wanna say it on me now? Hey? It looks like garbage so far, but hey, I got them together. I hate these danglers. I feel like it's gonna look a lot better without them, so uh, I now need to seam rip. No. So, all these loose ends into the top and trim. Like 75,000 strings here. See, I fold it right side, inside out. Looks pretty good. The strings, not working. I am at the same part I was last time, like two days ago. And honestly, I've been avoiding this part because this, this overwhelms me. This amount of yarn just needed to be woven in and also the scary fact that I could weave this in and it looked like trash. I've avoided it for a little bit, but now I, I can't avoid it anymore. I need to work on this. So I'm gonna start on this now. 
I have made a plan up in my head that I am going to get rid of these spaghettis. These look horrible, these look terrible. There is no way to recover it. So I just tested it out and I'm gonna weave them all in so they look like this. Way better. Clean and pretty anxiety. So now I'm gonna spend the next 12 hours weaving in these ends. Here's an update of what I've done the last day. I've woven in this, I've woven in this, I have not woven in this, and definitely have not woven in this. And honestly, I don't know the exact next step because there are some things that still need to get done. Like I need to put more flowers here. There's, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna attach the cuff. I don't know how I'm gonna attach the neck here because the neck is so dang big. It's like my waist. So, future Jenna has a lot of problems she needs to solve, but current Jenna, she just needs to finish weaving this in. That's all she needs to do. So, we're gonna ignore future Jenna's issues. When the time comes, it comes. That's all I'm gonna say. She is semi-smart. She should be able to figure it out. But right now, I think I'm just gonna listen to a podcast. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. Good morning, Vincent. You have a good nap? Your head's kind of stuck. Oh, Vincent. You've just accepted that your life will always be forever in yarn. Hey, I spent seven hours weaving in the ends. Yeah, I'm done now. But it's not really done. It's only ends woven in done. Now I have some other issues. For one, it's very lumpy because they're all different yarn types textures, weights, just everything. So she's lumpy. So I'm hoping this machine can fix it. It's a steamer if you didn't know what this was. So I'm gonna try this on now. I'm hoping when I put it on, it feels like my chest. Flat, no lumps. Feels pretty good. Two hairy thumbs up. Okay, next. I need to work on a collar because right now there's no structure and I really want to make it look like the original inspo even though we're, we're not kind of going off course where we're not going to have the strands everywhere. I do really like how they have the ribbing around the neck there and it still has a collar. I don't know how that's going to go on. I'm thinking make the collar then attach it. I'm kind of lazy so let's use big yarn. This one. This one. This one could work too. Okay, so we do want this multicolor or purple. Also equally pretty. I think I like this one more. This is what it looks like crocheted. Yep, it's decided. So for this collar, I'm just gonna do that fake crochet ribbing, the single crochet through the back loop thing. This is what it'll look like. This should take me no more than like 10 minutes to do as well. Jack, what is that? <laughs> Jack has been enjoying my yarn. Were you eating my yarn? Huh? Were you eating my yarn again? Why is, why is the yarn tag in your mouth? I think this is a good size for the collar. Next, I'm just gonna Turn this into a circle. Okay, now I'm just gonna sew this on to the top here. Collar is attached. Next, I just need to make two cuffs now. Same way I made the collar. Okay, one cuff, done. Looks a little wonky, but I feel like when you put it on. Okay, now for the next one. That 
was my last cuff. So that means, I don't wanna say done yet, but done. All I have to do is just weave in all these ends and it's done. Are you excited, Jack? So last night, I actually finished the sweater at a reasonable time, like five before dinner. So I was able to eat dinner and then relax the whole night, which is very rare. I gotta say, very rare for me. Usually I work nonstop on projects, so it was kind of nice doing nothing. But now, the sweater's done. I'm gonna style it for you guys, which I still don't really know how to style it. I think maybe just with the mini skirt, I think that will look good. I don't know, you can leave some suggestions in the comments. So watch this. Here's a sweater. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I think this looks so good, way better than all the spaghettis on it. Like, yeah, day night difference. I just have it with this little mini skirt, but I don't know if I'm supposed to wear it like this. I've never really had a sweater like this, so I don't think jeans, I, I think a skirt. I think a skirt really matches this. I think it looks good like this, but if you have other suggestions. I'm so happy with this top. This is so exciting just to make another piece that we made together where you guys create all these flowers. I spent 15 hours sewing it together, actually maybe 20 hours of 30, no. 25 hours, I don't know how long it took. It took way too long. It took me like seven hours alone just weaving an end. So I don't even want to think about how long it took me to put this together, but we did it. We did it again, friends. We made another masterpiece. So if you guys want to be a part of the next project, because honestly, I cannot do these projects without you guys, because I tried to make all of these flowers and then try to put them together, it'd probably take me like 30,000 hours. We'd get one video for the whole year. So I'd like to make more than one this year. So if you guys want to be a part of the next project, whatever that is, who knows? Be sure to join my Patreon. It is down below. It is free to join and I'll have all upcoming information about future projects there. But that's it. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in a different video. Bye. Bye.